Good morning, good morning, my wonderful friends and family. Good morning. How are you doing today? I hope it's a blessed day wherever you are. This is Gregory Wilds from Houston, Texas, with his inspirational morning walk. Hope everyone is having a great day. Good morning to everyone. Anyhow, what I want to talk today about, today we're going to talk a little bit about the power of positive thinking. The power of positive thinking and why it's beneficial for you to be have a positive mindset versus a negative mindset. Are you one of those people who look at the project and come up with all the reasons why it cannot be done versus the reasons why it can be done? Good morning, Mr. Carl Moore, a good friend from Georgetown, Guyana. How are you doing, sir? Continue doing the great things you're doing down there. So you're one of those people who look at the project and come up with all the reasons why this thing cannot be done versus why it can be done. Are you one of those people who look at the glass as always half empty instead of half full? How did you view this pandemic right now? You do it as a hindrance, something that's gonna destroy your life, or you view it as an opportunity for you to get yourself better, to do things that you didn't have the time to do. How did you view it? Think about that. How did you view it? So I want to show you why I leave you with a scripture first and, and we can build on this. The scripture is Proverbs 23, 7. It said, for as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Proverbs 23, 7, for as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. And here how this principle works, guys. If I'm trying to break this down quickly, you get an understanding how this principle works. Why what you think you're going to get the result of that. There's two parts to the mind. There's a conscious mind where we used to do all the thinking. Mr. Rodney Thompson, thanks for checking in. There's a, con there's a conscious mind and there's an unconscious mind. Now, the conscious mind is the mind we used to do all our thinking and everything. The subconscious mind do not think. It do not reason. It just gets its information from the conscious mind. It gets its information from the conscious mind. It don't think and reason for itself. It gets its information from the conscious mind. So that's why you gotta be careful what you're putting in there. And there's two ways you can get something down into the subconscious. Guys, the subconscious is the part of your mind that are responsible for making things happen. The, 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 con the subconscious is responsible for making things happen. So there's two ways, there's many ways, but two ways I'm gonna dwell on today that um, you can get stuff done in your subconscious mind. The first way is through auto-suggestion. You keep repeating something, repeating something over and over and over, repeating something over and over. I remember the subconscious mind do not reason. So it does not know if it's a truth or a lie you're repeating. It does not know that. It's a truth or a lie you're repeating. But over a certain amount of time, you keep repeating it, it's going to record it at it as its truth. And it got to make that happen now. That's why sometimes we tell people, you tell a lie so much that you believe it. You ever hear me tell people that? You tell this lie so much that you believe it. Because what happened? The conscious mind, uh, subconscious mind records that. It doesn't know it's a lie. It records that as its truth. And then that becomes the truth. It can do things to cause you to, to make that the truth. And the next way it can, you can get stuff done in your subconscious mind is by believing beyond the shadow of a doubt. And that's what the, the believers call faith. That's why faith works. Because once the subconscious realizes you believe and convince that this thing is true, you're going to get it, or whatever you believe in with faith, the subconscious mind does not need a repetition no more. It automatically records that. And it's in there and it's going to make that happen. So if you think positive, it's going to cause you to pick up those positive vibes. It's going to attract the people, your destiny helpers, who's designed to help you in life. You can do the things and got the attitude and give you great ideas to make whatever you put in there come to pass. So that's how this principle works scientifically. So let's use an example. Your mind is like the most fertile land. Let's say your garden, you put a lot of fertilizers and everything in your garden. You're ready to plant a crop. It's well ready. It's fertilized. Whatever you plant there is going to grow. So if you plant a batch of tomatoes, 
you will get a great batch of tomatoes. You're watering it, it's all the fertilizers there. You're gonna get a bountiful harvest of tomatoes because the land doesn't care what you plant in it. The land is fertile. Whatever's good, good seeds you plant, it's gonna grow. So what if you plant a whole crop of poisonous bushes? Guess what's gonna happen? It's gonna return a great crop of poisonous bushes to you. So the land is fertile and it doesn't care what you plant. That's how the mind works, the subconscious. It does not reason, it does not know what you're doing, is true or not. So that's why we have to, we have to think positively and put positive things down in our subconscious so we can get positive results, okay? So that's what the scriptures are saying. It's a man, so as a man think it, so is he. You gotta remember, keep saying, this universe operates on laws, and that's the law. The universe operates, God made it like that because he don't have to be into every decision. He made those laws, we follow those laws, and you don't have to believe in the law, but the law is gonna run its course. That's why we see sometimes some people, you think not deserving of something, oh, they so do all of this wickedness, but yet still they're still prospering in some areas of their life. It's because of these simple laws. It doesn't care who you be. If you activate them, you'll get the benefit of them. So, and this is why the scriptures in Matthew 21, 22 says, if you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for. And that's the part of the, what we talk about by the belief. That's faith. If you believe, you can receive whatever you ask for in prayer. But because it's a law, it could go both negative and positive. You could believe a negative thing or you could believe a positive thing. So my goal today is to show you, think positive. Think positive. And you will get positive results based on this law. So the next time you come up to your project, think of all the ways that it can be done versus the ways that it cannot be done. All right, guys, I'm going to do the reverse of this on Friday when we meet. And why is it, it you know, what is, is, is the, why is so deadly to think negative? We can do the reverse of this, but I just want to leave that with you guys. I hope that bless you and give you understanding of why is it necessary to think positive, feed positive thoughts to the subconscious. And remember, so as a man think it, so is he. And it's a law that's gonna run its course regardless of who you are. All right, guys, have a great day, guys, and thanks for watching. I see Niall Smith is on there, Mavis. Thank you for watching, cuz. Joel Jones, thank you guys for checking in and have a blessed day. We'll meet again on Friday around this time. Bye.